a few points in Gear Lab that, that I think are important to stress is that every project we work on, it starts with this motivation where there's millions to billions of people facing often this life or death you know, issue and that need some sort of technological intervention in order to get out of that bad situation. And I think that's such a wonderful starting point for a research project, you know? You have these super compelling problems, nobody has a solution, they're technical in nature. You know, I feel really fortunate as an academic that I can work on those things. And when we solve problems in, in my group, we, we look at, at three core areas in order to get to that solution. The first is, we are a hardware design group. We make hardware, physical things, that will be brought to the real world and make an impact. The second is that the research we do is to articulate the performance of that technology. So we don't just make one widget. We tell you the theory behind the widget so you can adapt the widget to whatever situation you like. If we're making a, a drip irrigation nozzle, a doctor could adapt that to a heart valve you know, because you know the theory and how it performs and how you scale sizes and material types, etc. Um, and what's exciting about that too is we're typically running into technical problems that nobody solved before, nobody knows how to solve, and so it involves some fundamental science in order to, to really get to that, you know, technological solution. So it may be fluid mechanics or biomechanics, but we have to dive into that fundamental science. That tells us how we could design a technology, then we can create the engineering theory that articulates how that technology behaves. And then the final point is I work very closely with that whole stakeholder chain to bring a technology from idea to market. And so we bring in companies, NGOs, funding organizations, end users, have them articulate their constraints and requirements so we can hopefully streamline that technology to implementation in the real world. Well, I, I have a startup company called Global Research Innovation and Technology. It goes by the acronym GRIT. And the reason I started GRIT is that academia is very good at producing prototypes and companies are good at producing products. But going from prototype to product is sometimes the biggest barrier. That's a huge chasm you have to you cross. Um, and so what GRIT is positioned to do is refine products bring them to the stage that a company can pick them on and pick them up and then manufacture them. So the first product that GRID is working with is our Leverage Freedom Chair wheelchair. And at the end of my academic work on that project, we had a very good prototype that had shown its performance in the field, people liked it, but it was still, you know, by and large handmade. It hadn't been, we hadn't really thought about design for manufacture, quality control, how we package it small for, sh use in, or for shipping in shipping containers. And so those are the tasks that GRIT have done and have worked with a manufacturer in India that is actually able to build the product at scale. So I see in the future GRIT being there as this conduit to take technologies out of my lab and bring them to commercialization and do those tasks that are critical to bringing them to market but that fall outside of what you would typically do in academia.